And now for our ongoing coverage of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, different groups across the world are responding to the ongoing conflict. Uh, while some have taken sides and sympathized with either country, others have remained neutral and have called for peace. In Nigeria, the Coalition of Civil Society Organizations, a coalition of human rights activists drawn from different bodies, has condemned what it calls an ongoing genocidal attack by Israel's army on Gaza. We demand that the United Nations should prevail on Israel to halt its war crime by calling for a ceasefire. The death of 500 Palestinians in a single Israeli strike at the Alali Arab Hospital south of Gaza on Tuesday, 17th October 2023, is a case of crimes against humanity. And it's a war crime that the international, in, that the ICC must investigate and hold Israel accountable. We affirm that as an occupied people, Palestinians have the right to resistance, which they continue to muster, despite their backs being against the wall. Palestinians are not fighting just Israel. They have been fighting a rogue superpower, which is America and the rest of the Western imperialism. We salute their courage and their ref refusal to be bullied into silence. Over 100,000 members of various religious and civil rights groups in Nigeria marched on in Lagos on Saturday to show their solidarity with the people of the Palestine. A large rally called for a cessation of Israel's bombardment of Gaza following the October 7 surprise terrorist attack by Hamas on Israel. The demonstration brought together diverse interests seeking to raise awareness and call for peace in the ongoing conflict. Thousands gathered at the MKU Abiola Park in solidarity with Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Demonstrators held placards with pro-Palestine messages and chanted for Palestinian freedom. With deep concern over what they described as Israel's disproportionate use of force, the large rally reflected strong support for Palestinians and aimed to raise awareness of the humanitarian situation in Gaza. What Hamas did, a lot of people see it as uh, bad, as terrorism. But one terrorism has been done before that, and that is the continuous killing and the siege and the blockage on Gaza for more than 16 years. If the whole of Arab world and the world in general just fold our arms and watch this continue, when they finish with Palestine, they will look to the next door. What is the difference between Ukrainian and Palestinian? What's the difference? Is it in the color? Is it in the color of their skin or their language? That shouldn't be the basis for discrimination. And we need to banish hatred, apartheid, thinking the supremacist uh, uh, toga. Speakers emphasized that Palestinians have a right to speak self-determination and their own independent state within the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as the capital. When Netanyahu presented a map of Israel, which shows that Palestine will not exist again, and that is why this problem will continue. If you, have, if you believe that you are the only one that have the right to, to, to take over, it doesn't make it, and we feel that they should go back to the 1967 border agreement where a two-state solution has been proposed. On the continent, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo expressed some level of support for Israel, while Algeria, Tunisia, South Africa have voiced support for Palestine, as Nigeria and Uganda have so far adopted neutral stance. What then is the role of the international community? The Security Council must be reconstructed to allow many other countries from the uh, third world. Number two, the, the veto must be re redefined. It must be an instrument of development and security of humanity. The United Nations has failed in its in his obligation. You understand what I'm saying? They should have come out and enforced the agreement that they did. The Balfour Agreement is there for a two-state solution. Why have they not been able to do that all this while? Will I, we blame or not, let them go now and do the right thing. As the polarized situation escalates, over 4,000 people have died 
and more than 13,000 have been wounded in Gaza since the beginning of the war, most of them women, children and older adults. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation called for concrete actions to achieve a just and lasting peace based on two-state solution. Meanwhile, the Rafah crossing in Egypt was briefly opened to allow the first convoy of eight trucks to enter the besieged Gaza Strip. Ni Omani, reporting for New Central Lagos.